This morning we're going to debug the error. The transaction log for database database name is full. To find out, well, to find out why space in the log cannot be reused, see the log reuse weight descending column that says databases. This will only be for simple databases, number one, and this will only be for databases in 2008 R2. Should be of note that what I am doing here, if you tried in 2012, at least in my environment in 2012, it'll go through without errors. Okay, so we have a table called Crash It Simple. I'm sorry, database called Crash It Simple. And we have a table called Crash It Table. What we're going to do is we're going to insert 50,000 rows into the Crash It Table. Now before I do that, what I want to talk about this morning specifically is some misconceptions about the um, oh, wrong one about simple recovery mode databases. So a developer was asking me the other day, I don't understand the log crashed, it's 2012, I thought in simple recovery mode logs weren't used. Like what's, what's the purpose? And your environment may be totally different, so this video may not be something that's useful for you to debug because that may not be the problem you're currently facing. But that's actually not true as we'll see. Okay, I'm gonna insert 50,000 values, right? So. The, this command right here shouldn't be logged, and this command shouldn't be logged according to this developer. The conception, the misconception is nothing's happening with the log. So in 2008 R2, we're talking about simple recovery mode. Let's go ahead and insert 50,000 values in that table. Now while it's doing that, I'll say that um, in 2012, in order to do this same type of process and get an error, I actually had to insert 10 million values before it finally blew up and it blew up let's see how many values there are in that table but I was I inserted 500,000 yesterday and it went through without error and then I deleted a bunch of them with the same not like 1% here the same uh, situation but yeah but so it, it inserted about 9 million which is amazing. It's the same option here. Okay, so we inserted 50,000 in 2008 R2 on this crash table. Okay, so it's simple recovery mode. So this developer thought that if we check the log, there should be nothing but those two values, right? Well, you see there's 4,092. So let's go ahead and look at this database build really fast. And by the way, it's the same in 2012 that I have over on this other computer as it is here. So it's simple recovery mode, and we'll see there's 5 meg and 10 meg. Okay, but you'll see that we flooded um, the log, as it turns out. So our insert did something. Now let's try to delete from our table and watch what happens. Now delete in general is a very, very heavy operation. It's not, it's one of my least favorite things to do. I don't, anytime someone wants to delete from a table, I'm like, nah, it's not a very, why did you have data in there to begin with? Um, if you're deleting those data, but sometimes it is necessary to do, and you'll see that it blows up, okay? So, let's go ahead and run a checkpoint. So, now when we check our log, of course, we're back down to two, and, and that's in the situation, the situation that we were troubleshooting, all it was was a matter of running a checkpoint. And, um, well, actually, I ran uh, DBCC check DB as well, because he the, the database actually crashed off of a delete command. By the way, if you have a database that crashes due to a 3314 error on my gist, 3314, yeah, that's right. Um, you can see this is what we were we, what we were debugging. So in the case of what we did was we added a checkpoint to the process, but when you're dealing with, um, in his situation, it was 45 million rows of data, then some of those data were being deleted in one process, and then he attempted to delete 32 million rows of data. And this was in a 2012 environment, and that just flooded the log. And so it crashed the entire database. Then it restarted automatically. Uh, DBCC check DB found no errors. Uh, and then, of course, uh, after that, it was a matter of, and, and SQL Server, actually, when you restart, will automatically run a checkpoint. But it's a good idea to put a checkpoint if you have a process like that, which is very heavy. Um, when you, you delete certain amounts of data, run a checkpoint, and then uh, you can delete more amounts of data and run a checkpoint. But in general, in my my point to him was, is that each time that data were being inserted and then deleted, then both tables, previous tables, needed to be tr truncated. Um, truncating is a, a much lighter command versus deleting. And 
sitting there, how am I going to delete every record from a table? Then just truncate the table. Don't delete every record from a table. It's, that's a very, very heavy command. So this, the, the purpose of this video is to show you that when you do things, especially in a 2008 R2 environment, in a simple recovery mode database, and you think, oh, I'm not doing anything to the log, as you see, when we're deleting, that's a very heavy command for the log still. And that insert is still doing things to the log. Not as much, but it's still doing things to the log. So it is a misconception that if it's in simple recovery mode, the log's not being touched at all. As you see, uh, when we're running these things, it actually is hitting that log.